What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect Zoom meeting setup at your house. So you won't even have to wear pants. I'm excited. I'm going to go over every single detail, hopefully answer all your questions. If this video helps you, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button down there, it'll help my algorithm so more people could see it and whatnot. And if you're not subscribed yet, you're missing a great time. Trust me. So I'm going to talk about the five main elements to have a super professional Zoom meeting set up at your house. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a sixth element that can take your meetings to another level. So number one is your internet. I put internet first because honestly, you can crush every other element and if your internet's not good, your Zoom meeting is gonna look terrible. You're gonna be lagging, you're gonna be blurry, nobody's gonna hear you. It can get rough out there in the waters of the interwebs. So internet is very, 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 very important. Now, most of us have good enough internet to stream. I'm not gonna tell you that you need this crazy, crazy internet, but I do recommend that you get the best possible internet that's available in your area. It might cost you an extra 10, 20, 30 bucks a month, but it's worth every penny, especially if you're doing a lot of Zoom meetings. I mean, you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't plan on doing a lot of Zoom meetings for business or for pleasure or for whatever. So, you know, it's definitely worth a couple extra bucks a month to have the best internet possible. If Verizon Fios is in your area, highly recommend that. That's what I use and it's fast, like real fast. I don't know why, I don't know, fiber octave cables or whatever, but it's really fast. But regardless, it depends on your area. Call your internet service provider, call your competitors, shop around and find out what's gonna give you the fastest internet possible in your area. And you'll thank me later. Now, number two is where to have your Zoom meetings. Now, you probably wanna have your Zoom meetings in your office or your living room, wherever your computer's set up, wherever your desk is, wherever your happy place is, I don't know. You know, I'm not gonna tell you where in your house to put it, but I'm gonna give you one big tip that can really help your setting look super, super professional. And that is have a lot of space behind you. Just like I'm doing right now. I'm in a 200 square foot room. This is my little office, right? I'm a DJ, I play my little turntables back here. I got my desk set up over here to my left. You know, I'm in my own little office. It's 200 square feet. I don't have a big house at all. But if you put a lot of space behind you, you're gonna get a depth to feel. Because you can see how I'm clear in my camera, but then my background is blurry. The blurry background behind you gives your shot more depth and it really, really makes your video pop and look a lot more professional. What you don't wanna do is set up in front of a wall. It just, it looks like you're in front of a wall. It looks like you're in a closet. It looks like there's just no, there's, there, there's no way to dress that up. Even if your wall is covered with a bunch of cool stuff, you still wanna have some type of distance behind you. And like I said, this is a 200 square foot room. This is not a big room. So what I'm doing is I'm filming in one corner. That way behind me is the furthest distance possible and you get that super cool depth. You may have to rearrange your desk or something, but trust me, if you put a good amount of space behind you, it's gonna look fantastic. And remember, the camera's only gonna see from here up. My floor right now, it's pretty messy but you can't tell because of the angle. So you can always angle the camera right. You know, you don't have to have the most perfect, clean, you know, HGTV type house. You know, just angle the camera right. Clean up anything you might want to clean up, but like, it, there's, there's really not much to do. You're only seeing from right here to right here. You know what I mean? So as long as you have the depth behind you and it's, it, it's gonna be blurry anyway, it's gonna look good, trust me. Now let's talk about number three, your camera. So when it comes to cameras, I highly recommend buying a webcam. The camera that's built into your computer screen, your laptop screen, or your computer isn't gonna be good. They never are. Even the newest laptop on the market right now doesn't have a good front-facing camera. They're not good in low light. They're gonna come out blurry. It's just, it's never a good camera. It's well, well worth it to spend an extra 100 bucks, maybe $150 max, to buy a solid webcam that's gonna be plug and play, it's gonna work great, and it's also gonna have all the features of a real camera, not something that's built into a computer screen. I highly recommend Logitech webcams. They make great webcams. There's tons of levels, right, so you can figure out what works best for you, what's works best in your budget. My favorite camera that they have and what I personally use is called the Logitech Stream Cam. And I love this camera because it's great in low light and it allows you to stream at 1080p for 60 frames a second, which is like the money setting. That is the money setting. 60 frames a second basically means that it takes 60 pictures of your noggin per second and it puts all those pictures together to make a clear image and it really does make a night and day difference. But honestly, any webcam will work. Shop around, check out what works best for you and what works best with your budget, but just do not use the camera built into your computer. It'll be a night and day difference no matter what camera you get. All right, so we got super fast interwebs, right? We know where we're gonna stream. We know where we're gonna have our Zoom meetings. We got a nice little space behind us. We got the depth of feel. We got a good camera. We look good. 
Now we gotta sound good. So let's talk about microphones. So sound is super important. You can get by just talking to your laptop and using the built-in microphone on your laptop. You can get by just using like, you know, earbuds and talking into that or AirPods. You can get by and sound okay, but you're still gonna sound like you're on a phone call. You know, like when you talk to somebody on the phone, you're gonna sound like you're on the phone. That's literally what you're gonna sound like. To me, for how small the investment is, buying a USB mic that's gonna make you sound 10 times more professional, it's literally a no-brainer. The average USB mic that I would recommend to you goes between about 50 and 100 bucks. Maybe 150 if you wanna get crazy. Just like the camera, it's really not that big of an investment, especially when you're gonna be doing meetings all the time for business where it'll pay for itself all day. I use a blue USB mic, it was a hundred bucks, it plugs and plays, it's super, super easy, and it sounds fantastic. I've even done like some voiceover things with it, like professional, and it sounded like I was in a studio, like it really is that solid. Now this brings us to our fifth and final element of a Zoom meeting setup, and that is lighting. Now lighting is very, very important because not only does it help your camera have the best image ever, but you're also preventing like harsh shadows that can make you look bad, you know? There's, there's ways you do lighting where you can look fat or you can look like you have bags under your eyes. You want to have your lighting right and it's really not that complicated. For my Zoom meetings personally, I just use one light I got off Amazon. It was 40 bucks. I'll put the link in the description and stuff. And I have it pointed like right at my face, right above the camera, right? So it's like pointed like right at me. So it kind of illuminates my face. You could see me, but then like the background's still kind of dark and you know, you have that depth. And I think that's all you really need. If you want to get crazy and get a rim light, a rim light is a light that goes up high and you point it at your noggin and essentially lights up around your noggin so you pop from the background, right? So you can see the outline of your head and you pop from the background you have more depth if you want to do that you can totally do that I do that sometimes but I just like a quick and easy zoom setup that's like here ready to go I just have to turn it on and let's go I don't have to like adjust lights or anything so normally when I do a zoom meeting I just have the one light pointed right at my face and I'm good to go 40 bucks, no brainer, USB powered, so you can power it with a USB or just charge it. It's got a battery, obviously, and it lasts a good amount of time, and you're good to go. All right, so we went over the five made elements. You got your Zoom set up. You're ready to start Zooming some meetings. Let me give you some advanced tips. If you wanna look really, really professional when you're scheduling a meeting with someone, get a custom URL. When you sign up for Zoom and you have a Zoom account, they give you a URL for your Zoom waiting room, right? Like your meeting room, and that's where your clients can come and wait in the waiting room, you let them in, and then you meet them on Zoom. If you ever used Zoom before, you know this, right? Well, if you buy a domain to a custom URL, for me, it's meetnickspinelli.com, then you can forward that custom URL to go to your Zoom meeting link and then bam, they're right in your meeting room. So instead of sending like that weird Zoom link that's like zoom.com slash HDRF569 and all those little numbers or whatever, you could just send them meetnickspinelli.com, meet whatever or whatever your URL tends to be. It could be within your brand, you know, you can get creative with it, but regardless, a URL costs like 10 bucks a year on Google domains and it's just a no brainer. It looks 10,000 times more professional to your clients. Now we could call the last one 5.5 because the next tip is number six. This is element six. This is the element six I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. This will take your meetings to the next level, okay? Are you ready for this? Come over to my computer, let me show you. All right, so here I am on Zoom. We're all set up, everything looks good, we're good to go. But let's say you wanna take your meetings to another level. Let's say you're doing sales meetings. Let's say you're doing things where you wanna show visuals and stuff like that. Well, what I do is I use a program called Ecamm Live. Now, Ecamm Live is a streaming software that you can use to stream on Twitch or Facebook, you know, that sort of thing. But you can also use it within Zoom meetings because it has a really cool Zoom integration. Essentially, all I have to do is go down here to video and click on Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. Now, Nothing changed, I'm just using Ecamm Live's camera instead of directly to my Logitech. What that does is allows me to use all the features of Ecamm Live within Zoom. Let me show you an example, right? So now this is my Zoom setting, right? So this is literally my Zoom call still, right? Only under Ecamm Live and you can set different scenes. So for my meetings, I might have a little furniture scene because when I DJ, I use furniture. I have turntables built into a furniture piece. It's something that sets me apart and it's something I wanna talk about to my clients and actually show them. So all I have to do is just click the furniture scene and then I have everything set up 
right here for me. I'm still talking to them. I'm still conversing, but I'm able to kind of Vanna White it. Oh, look at these pictures right here. See, this is what I'm talking about right here, you know? And it's very easy to do this. All I really did is go into Keynote where my presentation was so you can use your existing presentation and I exported everything into images. And then once I had the images, you can export the images right into the program and then overlay your camera on top. It's super, super easy to do and it really makes you that much more professional. Visuals are everything. That's like one of the reasons why meeting in person was so important. But if you can't meet in person for obvious reasons, this is literally the next best thing all day. I mean, think of the possibilities. You can literally put anything you want on the screen, videos, pictures, visual, anything you want. So whatever business you're in, whatever you do, utilize it to the fullest upload your slideshow and have it all ready. Cause I'm telling you this live stream stuff is new people. It's new. 99% of people that live stream do it regularly. Just basic cable webcam or just camera from their computer. That's it. The bottom line doing all the things I'm talking about in this video will set you apart from your competition by a mile. That's it people. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you for being here. If you have any comments, questions, something I missed, leave it in the comment section below. I'll get right back to you and I'll see you guys next video.